everybody. It's Julie, and I have a haul from Dollar Tree. And it's actually, it doesn't look like much, but it's little things. <laughs> so it ended up pretty big. So I picked up a piece, a roll of this contact paper. I have an order for the Dollar Tree dunk junk journal like I made for that challenge. So I needed some of the contact paper. Um, okay, so this is a little... It's not paper crafting, but I want to build one of those, or a few, of those little, the fairy garden and the gnome garden things. So do this Dollar Tree had some of the little, I'm going to put that in the gnome one. They're going to get a porta potty. Um, and then, of course, I had to pick up a set from my mom. So these are for her. And then that is for the, the gnome one. So I'm going to do a fairy and I'm going to do a gnome. So they had some of these St. Patrick's Day necklaces. And I have um, some happy mail to do. So I'm, I got that for the, the happy mail. And, okay, then let's go ahead and put all those back in this bag okay very carefully so I have to get um, I'm, I'm doing these hauls really quick they're from several days of shopping um, it was Valentine's Day when I was blowing up my balloon so my uh, it took longer so I went out more <laughs> um, okay so now we're into the paper stuff I picked up this um, pack of computer paper and it says home sweet home and it has a flag and you know I love when I can find paper that is eight and a half by eleven and has a border on it and then I started picking up these little puppy things and kitty things because um, my poor grandchildren lost two dogs it, the very special dogs in the last couple of weeks. So I wanted to make my um, granddaughter's uh, book. And so this one has the little puppy feet and says Easy Breezy. has got this cute little guy. So one of them will get this tag made out of this and something out of the little, um, this here. And maybe it says good dog there, so maybe a place to put a picture of one of the dogs. Um, it was actually a, a, almost a year to the date that they lost their other dog. So this one is a notepad that said it's also by in that good dog series. This again was from Dollar Tree, and it's got the pretty kitty. So I picked that up. Then I picked up this one. I'm going to go ahead and open these while I'm doing this. To use in the St. Patrick's Day. So I'm going to put that over here because I have to make that soon. Then there was this, the little green book of Chairman Rama. Um, but check this out. The print is green. I thought that was kind of cool. I needed a book this size, and the print was green. And look at there, it's a green book. So, um, yeah, so that was pretty, pretty darn cool. Um, then I got this book. It's called, it says, Here I Go Again. I think it might be a little bit too big. Um, I will be covering this here, but I love this, okay? I actually bought this because of these end pages. <laughs> so um, I have a book that I need to make for myself. And so this will probably be my book. So it'll be okay that it's a little bit bigger. What I'll do is I'll just add some lace to the top and the bottom as well as the side. And that will bring my 8.5 by 11 papers. Let's see if I've got one over here folded. I did. I didn't have one with me. I need to put one in my... Okay, so see, it's just a little bit big, a little bit smaller. Um, 
but so but I'll either like come down here and put some lace that's probably what I'll do come down like here and put lace on the top and that way you won't notice that it's really too small for the book because this is convenient to be able to just fold paper and fit it into a book that's amazing so that is from myself um let's see I got some blue gems for my mom because she has blue glass and blue things all in her entryway garden. So um, whenever I can find something that is blue, um, blue glass that would go in her garden, I pick that up. And that way I can put that. I'll put it with her Mother's Day or her Easter stuff. Then I got these, this table scatter. I love this color. It will actually match that um, Paris stuff. So, um, yeah, I don't have that out here anymore. It's actually been put in its box. So, um, I but that will go. That will go with that. Um, okay, so dinner with the smileys. And yeah, I was I was thinking that it was probably going to be too small. So I'll have to cut this one up. Um, but I got it. I need. I needed books. I could put it in there. It's going to be right at the edge. I don't know. We'll see. Can can rip them. It won't go to waste. Okay. So now I got this package of the notepads, and primarily I you know, I bought it for the ongoing. Um, the bridal book or bridal bag so I have it hanging right here hanging right here and I've just been picking up the things that match and they'll go in the bag and um, it the wedding is not until next year so I have a long time to to get that one ready so I may go ahead and do um, you know because I, I had several people that wanted to see the the thing uh, that book or not book, the emergency kit for a bride. So I will put one together. It's just going to be a little while before I get to it. There was They had this cute washi tape that has um, the botanicals on it. And so I picked that up. I, I do have a purpose for it. It will, it will be going in a project box. So um, I liked it. And I like their... their um, tape. Sometimes I have to use glue with it, but I still really like it. I picked up these cards because of the teal. I hadn't seen those in quite a while. Of course, back when I would kept seeing them, I didn't need them, and now I've needed them and haven't been able to find them. I picked up these. I like this paper is different with the really dark um, lines on it, and I haven't seen that for a while. I got this one that has the watermelons. I have a bunch of different watermelon things that I think will be fun to use in things. And I picked up this coloring notepad that is just totally geometrical. Um, carpe diem, but first, coffee. Trying to put together enough of these to be able to do um, a coffee book several and you know I always take the magnets off and save these to use for other projects you can actually you know make something and put it on one of these magnets and I already have it okay Let's see. so next I found this computer paper and it'll just go in my stash this one, I thought that would be pretty with some Easter stuff. Here's another, um, this one says stuff to do, and I'm opening it. It's like, I, I have a thing, I, I don't like packaging. Um, it says just brew it, stuff to do. So there's um, one that I can actually probably use even in the... Okay, this one had a couple of messed up pages, but I was like, I'm okay with that. It's coffee o'clock. Look at this one. 
Say Yes to Adventure, this little tiny, tiny one. These little pads make it so fast to be able to put something together. I just love them. On oh, another puppy, it says this love. Or, yeah, this love. So we have another puppy. Oh, we need to save these. They say good dog. So I'll need to find the. Save those. Okay, and then I got this one. I'm hoping that it'll work with the, um, oh, the pinup stuff that I have to do. I have a lot of red and white polka dot and black and white polka dot that I think will be really cute with that. I got these stickers for, um, for the kids' um, for the girls' books, but I think I'm just going to put the sticker sheets in for them to put throughout or to use. Got a cooking one. I liked it because it looked kind of retro. Oh my gosh, I got some of these jars. This is the first time I've actually seen them at the store. I had gotten um, uh, one of these jars in a uh, um, in a happy mail and I thought they were so cool so I got two I picked up two of those I got an this journal and I went ahead and I opened it and checked it out because I wanted to see and the pages have the paw and the bone so um, that will be fun to be able to use and I found This one also I found another stamp block I needed that for one of the stamps that I use all the time and ah another another doggy dog on it <laughs> and you know there was there, this was it there was only like one of each of these so, and if you would be interested in like a, just a small kit that just had like a couple of each of these papers, um, put it in the comments below and maybe I'll put together something with um, dog stuff that I have. I mean, I have other things too. I have, I have these really cute little brads that have the paw on them. However, I'm wondering, do, does... Because you'll see sometimes they'll have four and sometimes they'll have three. Um, how do you know if it's the cat or the dog? <laughs> okay, one other, one, one other that I got was this activity, this book. And it is denim. And I just thought it was cool. Okay, I totally know I could just go ahead and put something together and scan it. But this is already ready and there's 30 sheets for a dollar. Look at there. They're already ready to be something. So that is my little Dollar Tree haul. And really quickly at the end, I'm going to put... Um, actually, that's it. We'll just go ahead and shut it off here. What was your favorite item? Would you be interested in some kind of a kit with the dog? Um, things I do have other dog and kitty things because I have grandchildren that absolutely I mean I have two that are planning to be some type of vet and do veterinary care so um, if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you have any comments questions suggestions put them down below find something to celebrate every day don't forget to subscribe and have an amazing day bye